So Zisho reaches out and sent one of their 4K webcam with multi-jointed arm design which also serve as a scanner. Anyway, this is going to be great. As per usual guys, we'll check its physical overview, features and do some capture tests in different lighting scenarios. We'll tell you everything you need to know coming up. Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So what do we get inside the package? Obviously, the multi-jointed ARM webcam, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, and the manual. Now let's check out some physical overview. Though it seems like the overall texture finish are the same, which is a sandblasted texture material in black color, we actually got a metal body below and the upper part is mostly made out of a very sturdy plastic. We also got some subtle beige color over here, also with the two joints and the manual camera controls, which looks aesthetically pleasing. We got four rubber feet underneath to keep the camera in place and it seems like the weight is concentrated in the bottom. If you are curious about its weight, you can check this out and pause the video. As you can see, you can set this up in different position depending on what you want to use this for. It is not like any of the traditional webcams that sits at the top of your monitor because it has its own stand, which you can adjust accordingly. And here are some possible camera positions you can adjust this webcam with. Just try to imagine what you can do with this camera, especially if you are a tech content creator like me. It also has a rubber thingy over here to prevent the metal and plastic collision. Little things like this are greatly appreciated. Besides the arm adjustments, you can also adjust the height of this and if you are curious about its dimensions, you can check this out and pause the video. I also want to mention that it has some distinguishable clicks whenever you adjust its height. Over here is where we can see the manual camera controls which we're going to talk more about it in a bit. And lastly, the sturdy but very stiff flat cable that is permanently attached on the camera. It is almost 5 feet in length and it has a silver USB-A connection. I guess that's all that there is for its physical overview. Now let's check out some features. It has a 4K camera with a weird aspect ratio recording which is 4000 by 3000. It has a 12 megapixel resolution with a single shot and a continuous autofocus. It supports 60 FPS in 1080p resolution and only 15 FPS in 4K Ultra. These are the scan, optics and configuration parameters. Just pause the video if you want to check out the details. This also has a large A3 shooting area, LED light with 3 levels of brightness, exposure adjustments, and camera manual rotation. You can also use this for scanning documents or books and export them in different file formats. Also, this webcam has two different software which we will check out in a bit. Now, these are the manual camera controls and its functions accordingly. And again, if you want to take a good look, just pause the video. By the way, you can rotate the camera also and it has a clicking sound indication. I guess that's all that there is for its features but if you want to know more, I suggest visit the link on your screen for detailed specifications. Now let's check out the software. We actually got two kinds of software, one for visuals and light scanning and the other is for heavy scanning. Let's check out the visualizer software first. So we got three major tabs aka display, scan, and file list. In the display tab is where we can demo something. It can be a small gadget or a document. We can set our camera settings by clicking this camera icon over here and it is where we can modify the file format, resolution, focus, rotation, and so on. You can also place a watermark and it can be either a word or an image or place a date and edit it accordingly. On this side, we have a quick camera controls where we can zoom, rotate, mirror, and focus the camera. Just in case you don't want to use the manual buttons on the webcam itself because the video might shake like this. 
Now, this toolbar is where we can mark, erase, or annotate a specific section in what we are demoing. For example, for this motherboard, I want to show you where is the front panel connectors are at. And I can do that by using this marker, or this box marker, or this pointer, and my favorite is the magnifying glass. The best part about this is that the markers and all are included in the video recording or streaming. Under here is where we can modify the marker colors, lines, thickness, and opacity. Place a grid or use a time annotation. If you got extra webcam, you can use this setup or just be creative in your video content. Lastly, this is the record and freeze button and works accordingly. Now in the scan tab is where we can scan documents, a file, a QR code, or a barcode. Colors can be set to auto, color, grayscale, black and white, or no filter at all. You can also set the scan to one page or two, and clicking this button will scan the current document in the frame. You can also turn on the auto scan so when you turn every page, it will automatically scan the document. As you can see, the files are really small but Zsure actually have a software for serious scanners and we will check that out in a bit. Lastly, the file list is where we can find the scan and recorded files. Now this is the other software and it is called the Zsure Fancy. It is actually straightforward and all you need to do is just to click this to start scanning a document. Once the document is positioned in the camera's frame, just click this to begin. You can select different methods and once you are done, you can modify each scan pages in this section accordingly. And the best part is that you can export it in different file format and each format has several options you can play with. Just explore this in accordance to your scanning needs because everything is pretty much self-explanatory. I guess that's all, now let's move on to the webcam tests. So this is the Fancy S, C922, and iPhone 12 in comparison. As you can see, the camera is a bit dark on its own and I actually have three different lights here in order for us to have a proper brightness. The autofocus is nice for objects and documents but in real-time webcam, I would prefer this turn off and just have a steady focus. It looks okay but let me know what you think in the comment section below. So this is the sound of the built-in microphone of the Zsure Fancy S Pro 
check one two three four sound check mic test one two three four let me know what you think in the comment section below now let's move on to the conclusion and let's talk about the things that I like and don't like about the Zizure Fancy S Pro webcam. Let's start with the things that I don't like first. The 1080p 60fps. This is not 60fps at all. I think this is more like in between 30 to 40fps. Second, the 4K is only 15 FPS. Well, it was mentioned in the feature so it's not really a complaint but, you know, I think the only reason that you'll use this feature is for steady scanning documents or steady capture images. Not to mention it also has a weird aspect ratio. Third, the autofocus. It is good and fast but it moves too much when you're using it as a webcam and I really find that annoying. Lastly, the permanently attached cable. Don't get me wrong, the cable is very sturdy but I would prefer a detachable one. Well, it's just me being picky. Now let's talk about the things that I love about this webcam. First of all, the jointed arm. You won't need to worry about the stand or positioning it at the top of your monitor because to be honest, I hated that idea ever since. I prefer having a different stand for my webcam and that's the reason that's why I bought this table mount camera stand over here. You can adjust the height, easily position the camera since the joints moves fluidly smooth in any angle. And it doesn't move too much because it is weighted at the bottom. You can instantly show your face or show something on your desk quickly without ruining your setup. I love the manual camera buttons for quick access and all of it really works well in real time. The built-in 3-level brightness lighting is very useful in showcasing items or scanning documents. Though personally, I will use this to showcase the gadgets we will review in the future. And one thing that I really like is that you can position it this way for privacy and that is a greatly appreciated feature. It has a good software for both recording and scanning and the interface is straightforward and easy to understand. I really love the part where you can use different tools to emphasize, focus, or annotate something that you are showcasing, either be in recording or streaming so if you are a tech content creator like me, you should get one of this already. It is a bit pricey for a webcam but come on, the Fancy S Pro has a lot of features to offer. Anyway, if you'll ask me if I'll recommend this, well that is a yes. To be honest, I've been looking for something like this for so long and it's finally here. As a tech video content creator, this is very useful and from now on, the Seizure Fancy S Pro will stay on my desk. If you want one for yourself today, I place a link in the description below for you to check it out. You can also use the 10% discount code especially made for those who are still watching up to this point. It's more like a thank you from Zizure. Anyway, if you think this is not for you, then check out the other webcam reviews we have on your screen. So that's it guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.